Hey guys, Connor Cordova here with Michael the Count Bisbing. Thanks for taking the time. My pleasure. So, Mike, coming into this last season of the Ultimate Fighter, uh, you're originally slated to coach against Chael Sonnen. When you found out it was Mayhem Miller, what was your initial reaction? I, um, initially, I was a little disappointed. Um, I was looking forward to coaching against Chael. Everyone knows Chael is a big personality. He's a hell of a fighter. And uh, I was excited to go against him. Obviously, he couldn't do that for obvious reasons. Um, Miller was, uh, I think, turned out to be a great, great replacement. At the start, I wasn't too thrilled about it because he hasn't got the big marquee name that a Chael Sonnen has. But um, Miller did a great job. He was a great opposing coach, and um, he certainly gave the fans something to watch. Nice. So... Obviously, this isn't your first go-around with any sort of form of the Ultimate Fighter. You competed on the show, you've coached on the show before. Do you think having that overwhelming experience over Mayhem, who really doesn't have any in this sort of aspect, um, did that give you any kind of advantage, coaching-wise? I think coaching-wise, it didn't give me an advantage, because, you know, um, Miller's been a coach for a while, you know, he's probably done more coaching than me, if I'm honest. But... The advantage I have is that, you know, I know what these guys are going through. I've been there. I know how hard a process it is. Um, and I know what a big deal this is for them. So when I was coaching, I was giving my heart and soul, putting everything into it, you know. I really, truly wanted these guys to win and succeed. I wasn't there for me. I wasn't there for me to get out of time and, you know, um, you know, get on TV. I was there to help eight up-and-coming fighters um, try and reach their goals because I've been there and I know what it's like. Now, looking at your training a little bit, uh, your combos are looking really fast, really crisp. What are you doing in camp to really build that explosive speed and that explosive power? Um, since the, um, well, let me see, since January 2010, I've started working with a uh, strength and conditioning coach, which is something that I've been lacking, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, I've been working very hard on that. I've made big gains in that. I've, uh, I'm definitely a lot more explosive. I feel faster. Um, I'm a little bit heavier as well, so I'm going to have to trim down a little bit and you know, eat some more salad. But, um, yeah, yeah, I've been working with a strength and conditioning coach. Now, your record is 21-3, and three, and you've only ever lost to the best in the yes. sport. But it still seems like you're a perennial underdog. Why do you think that is? Because people love to hate. You know, they, 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 you know, they talk a lot of smack about me. They, they, they don't want to give me the respect I deserve. But can, I'm quick to point out, I think we're talking about a big minority, you know, a small percentage of the fans. We're talking about people online, keyboard warriors, don't know their ass on their elbow when it comes down to it, let's be honest. Um, you know, I mean, I've only really lost once to Dan Henderson. Over two, Vanderlei was a debatable decision. I feel I won that fight. And the fight with Rashard Evans, that was a toss-up either way. So I've only really been beaten once. And um, we'll see. I guess when I win the world title, people will give me respect then. Final question. What kind of fight do you want to make it when you fight Mayhem Miller? Well, I want to make it a one-sided beatdown, obviously. Is that, you know, is that going to happen? I'm not sure. I'm certainly going to do my best to uh, achieve it. And uh, fingers crossed I will. Thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Thank you. Connor, keep the faith. Thank you.